Hello everyone, and today's video, I'll be reacting to the 4.2 Genshin Special Program, Mazatrae of the Guilty. And it starts in 10 seconds. I, I just watched the Honkai Saro one, I had to quickly get that starting up, it's uploading now. But we got the Genshin one coming out, and oh my god, I'm excited to see what 4.2 has to offer. And it's starting. Hello, Frida. Though it appears that you've managed Aiden. to win over part of the crowd. Some How of your now? testimony doesn't Sorry, add let me quickly up. check. My you voice is working. Sure that I, My voice is working. Okay, justice, just want to make sure. We'll get yes. to the bottom of this matter. I'm so no excited to see what 4.2... 150,000 people watching! Yes. Holy shit. Bro, I am so hyped learn. to see what 4.2 has to God offer. Not like, with Frida... The, the, the stream the art end. had... My Looks like dear flooding. citizens, <laughs> just as the will of a god remains I'm pulling for you, by the way. I am pulling for you. of mere mortals, so too I'm pulling is for you. truth unmoved and by Charlotte. the strongest Don't worry, Charlotte. I'll pull wells. I will now speak to the I've defendant. wanted Charlotte since 3.7. I'm sorry I'm talking, so talking so much. I'm talking over. I'm too excited. And I didn't I get much time to talk to before um, the special program started. of your actions. <laughs> hey, that's cool. No, it's not. Hot take, but <sighs> might be a hot take, but so Rina is probably my favorite Arkham Oh no, her, I like her personality. There's something about it that I really like. Lady Farina. Oh! What are you doing? Oh! Uh, Nivellet! Hello! <laughs> As the god of justice, who are the two people? It is only expected that I <laughs> who are the chibis in this? It's Lamine Farina. Is Nivellet in here? It, is there something I'm not that sure. you need in? If you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make an appointment with Sir Intendant Man, I'm so excited. in advance. According to the judgment <gasps> of the Order Is this the trailer? <gasps> Sorry. The Hydro are come to be punished by a, the death sentence. What the f fuck? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, it's the train! You both know that there may be issues with the primordial sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water did oh, have a here. to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Are they Should rising again? Gods be all powerful. What's done is done. Oh, that's it. Your archon. What the hell's that? Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. I'm pulling for you. Can it add go away, please? The show begins. Ooh! Shower me with praise. Let my name echo in song. That oh, it looks cool. Charlotte. Oh, she uses a camera. Nice. 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 Nice, nice. I want both I know of these characters. I'm a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something Is that an ominous Antel? about it. <gasps> She's falling to probably water, water. I mean. The prophecy. Yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. Who is this? I, Marina, will use this trial to show the world the true do not resist. Justice. This judgment is fair, Lady Projust. What is the meaning of you? What is that? You have never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No more excuses. Freyna does not want to go to death. Do that death sentence, which makes sense, but this? she is angry like, playing hard. Applaud and rejoice. We're just a woman. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon, the floor, will now be in. I now understand the true purpose behind this position. Oh my god, the whale! Child? Oh my god, they're fighting! That is the boss! Oh, the crack sky! The crack sky! It teleports? Yeah, it's a miss. Look at that. Who the f I suppose this fuck? could also be the justice that Who the fuck was that? 
Who was that? That reminds me someone from Honkai Impact. In a magnificent and dramatic <gasps> Wait, her shorts changed color. I'm sorry I noticed that. I'm sorry, but her shorts are now black or blue. I, maybe, maybe. That's interesting. Oh my god! This is gonna be hype as hell. Oh my god, what the f Bro, okay, the whale is a boss. That makes sense. Bro, child and Nouvellet are fighting. That's gonna be an insane cutscene. I'm guessing we're, we're gonna be Nouvellet in that. Fontaine flooding. Like, we get a thing. What the? How is this gonna go? Freen is getting, getting a death sentence. I don't know how that happens. Like, bro. Like, I love Farina. So, I obviously don't want that to happen. And there's a new character that looks like she's from Honkai Impact 3rd. Like, it, for some reason, it reminds you of Kiana. Imagine, imagine if her name is Kiana. And you know what I mean? That'd be funny. But, bro, new character, like... I'm going to say announcement. New character introduction, that's what you would call it. Yeah. Hey, travelers. Hey, oh, the new Genshin Impact is here. Okay. version 4.2 special program. Hey, the lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Hello. And I'm joined today by two guests Abyss to bring twin. you the latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right, yeah, sounds good. I'll start. Hey, everyone. I'm Amber Lee Connors, the voice of Hello. And oh, I am super excited to be on this special program today. Uh, travelers already met the Hydro Archon at the start of their journey in Fontaine. Yes, we did. <laughs> as the story continues, how will this special god of Earth the Crisis foretold in the prophecy? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope everyone's excited to see what happens next. Man, I'm that so excited. I sure am. Uh, I, uh, hey, Ray uh, Chase. I'm at the edge of my seat. My name is Ray Chase, and I'm the voice of Nivellet, the dragon Hello. sovereign of water and Udex of Fontaine. Spoilers! I'm sure many of you already consider Nivellet a very yeah. trustworthy partner, and I hope you look forward to seeing more of him in version 4.2. Yes, for sure. Totally. Yep. Okay, so next. I'm hyped. Let's dive into the major very content hyped. that we have coming in version 4.2. In Who's going to be the, the reruns? We need to make I an wonder. appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. So, you know, she's really busy as Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big celebrity at the Opera House. Yes. So, the special program team gave me an itinerary to follow, and it appears to show all How of How does she get the death plans. sentence? What? Farina's recent I'm sorry, that's all my mind. She's going to be going to trial, and then another trial, and then another. <laughs> Actually, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, the itinerary seems pretty packed, so let's take a look at the first item. Oh! Looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. There Good is job, nothing Ray. more important to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different from the usual. Ooh. Yeah, she's getting. She's I know, going on trial. I, know. I'm, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Act five. It looks like there's mm -hmm. some spotlights. Act and like five. A, a, a curtain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, look, the waves like, are going over. You know, oh, I never noticed that. Interesting. On things from, from yeah. behind the scenes, maybe? My Very dudes have no sense. I must correct people stuff, here bend no sins in the disappointed. eye of the gods. <laughs> Only laws and the tribunal can judge okay. someone. They can, they can judge even okay. me. So in praise my magnificence and purity. Act 5 of the Fontaine Archon Quest, Masquerade of the Guilty. We'll team up with Fontanian friends to delve deeper into the hurricane of events and face the impending destruction foretold by the prophecy. Oh, I remember some Travelers reading Travelers will gradually unveil new facts behind this crisis and encounter an evil that has been lurking in the swirling depths. Ooh. I know. I know. Ooh, swirling depths. <laughs> Very spooky. God damn. Um, right. So, you know, the prophecy in Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. And this is yes. possibly the greatest yes. crisis we faced yes. in our journey through to that. Definitely. How is the whole to that going to be affected? We learned about this precarious anyway. situation involving the rising <laughs> primordial seawater. Nevelet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede, but yeah. still, the water has reached Poisson. Luckily, the crisis was averted by Navi. What happens here as well? Spina de Rosula. Though we probably can't dismiss the assistance Ooh, provided by the nave either. 
whatever her end goal may be, it seems like she sincerely wants to save Fontaine from the prophecy. But Makes sense. there's only so much that we can say. <laughs> Travelers yeah. will have to go and play through the version themselves to discover the clues, adventures, and stories to come. This, this yes, exactly. act is going to be five so to six hours sure long, which means I've got to have... That means, for anyone who's wondering, I'm going to put it into two parts on YouTube, Fontaine's by the way. Two parts. When Act 5 of the Archon Quest becomes available. Sounds good. So exciting. Yep. Right? <laughs> hey, question. Mm. Have mm. we forgotten a pretty important character who's been missing from the Fortress of Meripede? Oh, yeah. Child? Yeah. Uh, you mean child? <laughs> yeah. 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 Where's uh, child? We searched all over the fortress for him. <laughs> He's in the yep. primordial water. <laughs> I, I guess we'll just have to live with the suspense for a little longer. <laughs> Not ideal, but it's mm. fine. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. But we saw Child appear at the end of the last version's Archon quest, so it probably yes. won't be long until he's we in the primordial again. water okay. with the whale, and the whale but becomes a boss. Really so I about Farina. and it cracks the sky or something. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening at this point. Oh my god! The crisis that's tough for even one of the great elemental dragons. Hmm. Of course, Fontaine he does have will have power. the traveler's help. But what choices will our hydro yeah, pew, pew, make? Pew, pew, in the face pew, of pew, 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 pew. I'm sorry. Oh, well, just like the prophecy itself, all will be revealed at the fated time. Oh, of course. But knowing Farina, perhaps she'll have made some preparations. Mm, huh. Once again, disappointed. Oh, <laughs> no way. Come on, guys. Have some faith. <laughs> okay, to bolster everyone's confidence in I Farina, hope, I hopefully let's have faith learn too. a little more about hopefully this one-of-a-kind Archon. You're, you're going on a death sentence, so I Why don't know how much I do. Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? Uh, you must Look, be she has like na navy shorts on. What is happening? <laughs> Understandable. It is I, after all. Oh, her, her whole outfit has got a dark star, on. Farina. What the heck's that about? I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky to even get an appointment with me. Am I just Emma? Oh my gosh, I love her outfit. Mm. Yes. Oh, I know. And, and her it's eyes, changed. like each of them are different. She's got these little eyelashes and yes. her hat. Amazing <laughs> oh, design. Amazing. You'd expect for a Cut. Hydro Archon that yeah. she'd have the best drip. Oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, you know what? It God seems damn like it, Ray. She's dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Fontaine's biggest celebrity for you. I like you. this little and um, high of drip, oh, cool. let's take a look at her oh, combat the text ability. Oh, nice. the text looks nice. Oh, yes, please. Yay. <sighs> Being too her idol's cool. Be such a hassle. Like, what is that I idol? the people would adore me so much. Oh, she's sword? Sword. Sword. Yes, sword. People thought she was going to be Claymore, which, to be honest, a lot of people hoped to be the first Hydra Claymore. Strike a pose! The moveset looks the interesting with the alive. animals. <laughs> it seems very interesting. Like, very interesting. That ult looks Whoa, cool. Whoa, that is wow. so cool. The ult looks oh cool. my gosh. Oh my gosh. I like the way she kind of, like, bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very much. It's like all of her moves are part of a performance. Yes. Totally. Also, look at her elemental burst. Her presence really fills the stage. It Everyone does. else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait, so the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the phantom or aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus, and they are all so cute. Yep. Oh, I love them. One has a top hat. <laughs> mm, me too. <gasps> Oh my gosh, no, the octopus is even wearing a hat! Yes. What a distinguished little gentleman! <laughs> um, a correction out here, Sarah. They're a bit oh? different from Fontamer aberrants, okay. uh, I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Um, they even help manage her daily affairs. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> exactly. So, Farina often invites guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. And those creatures are actually special guests of the Salon Solitaire. Aww. Mm -hmm. And she even gave each member a name. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. Hello. <laughs> They're the best. The crab, the one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the housekeeper, 
Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Ah, there mm -hmm. he is. Hello. And nice to meet you. Conferencier Gentilhomme Usher. Oh. And that last one is a oh. stickler for propriety. Oh. Nice to meet okay. you too. So All right. Farina said to nice make you. an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Oh, sorry, but idols? Oh, this that's such a cute. is she was referring to? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. I didn't know it was so cute. Exactly. Fruity Why is that so cute? Yeah, it is so row, cute, though. Why is it so cute, oh, man? Why? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's oh, adorable. Sorry. Okay, I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So Why has the outfit got a darker, though? Tell us Please yes, explain Yes, you that. got it. Yay. Please explain that. So, Farina is a hydro sword user. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her weapon looks amazing. Mm. She usually defaults to an Usia Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire, Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and, you know, these um, Salon members will attack nearby opponents, prioritizing the target of the active character. Ooh. Their damage increases the more characters there are in the party over a certain HP amount. Okay, I wasn't listening to all that, but at the very top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. Yes, so how do you she get has it to more me? than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical damage, but also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Based on what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. Oh, that's, that's really hard cool. to remember. It's super Fine, cool. No. Uh, after Farina uses her we charge attack that she's to switch to a Numa Arca alignment, her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. Oh, nice. Yes. Hmm. The summons created by Farina's that's elemental skill That's actually cool. So you can either have her attacking, full-blown attacking, Farina or just down. healing. Farina's elemental That's burst cool. deals damage to surrounding opponents. Depends how good the healing is. And so. when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> 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 That's my trumpet. Um, Amazing. <laughs> so um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very showy and unpredictable. Totally. I can already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill <sighs> might come in handy. Yeah, for real. And it will, yeah. Uh, due to her knowledge of deep water aberrants, Farina's passive talent can decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the xenochromatic Fontamer aberrants. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that'll make it even easier to uncover the secrets lurking in the depths. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> you can just keep attacking a lot quicker. Oh, and I almost Gosh. forgot. Um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's outfit changes whenever she switches so cool. between Arca lines. Oh yeah. Yeah, good. That is cool. She can walk on water. Thank you. It yeah. Does change. <laughs> but you know, such is the charm of a celebrity, I suppose. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so if you want to learn more about Farina. She gets a story sure quest. Nice. So if she's in Numa, she looks like this how she's now. If she's in Usa, she goes all ah, her outfit gets darker. That okay. is cool. So next if up, we that's have another how old friend. To that's introduce. cool. I'm hyped She's for a story quest. She's able to join the Traveler's party story. with her trusty companion, Charlotte. Monsieur Verite. That's Charlotte? right. It's Charlotte. <gasps> Come on. Yay, yeah, yeah, Charlotte. Oh, so cute. I love Charlotte so We've much. We've known Charlotte for a while now. The yeah, Traveler met since her during the Summoner Summit event, which took them on an adventure all over to that. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. I'm hoping that on the same banner. Really hoping. Charlotte's hard-hitting spirit and determination to uncover the truth really leave an impression, don't they? Actually, yeah. I don't think she will that's be. Right. During our journey in Fontaine, uh -huh. didn't she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Ridesley? Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end, huh? But <laughs> I don't think that will deter her. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its contents and the truths they contain. Ooh. Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Verite just so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're friends. 
Charlotte's talent for photography is truly a marvel. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. The peerless Monsieur Verite turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontaines Likes, even cut and the comments. prints out of the newspaper like and keep them as clippings. Oh, that's so cool. And Monsieur Verite is so cute, even has his own little hat and tie. <laughs> oh, yeah, the camera. Oh, yeah. Charlotte actually commissioned both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Verite's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that cute? Wow, that oh. is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verite. Yes, it really does. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall yeah. we? Yeah, let me yes. see. Oh, yeah, I want to see keep it. your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. She uses it like, it, like, it's so cool how she uses the camera. I love it. Say cheese. I love it. So she, it's just like a, it's not like a hole, like an E hole. Like you hold E. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, she's okay. really like moving around. Yes. Honestly, <laughs> it's just what you'd expect of a reporter for the Steambird. Even her combat skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, that and yet, like, what a lively character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yeah. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. <laughs> Charlotte is an expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, and that includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verité, she captures enemies from all angles, unleashing attacks while discovering and exposing their weaknesses. Yes. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know you could use them as a weapon. <laughs> there you know, yeah. I guess. Okay, here's some cool stuff. Charlotte's elemental skill applies snappy silhouette to opponents caught within the viewfinder of her camera. During this effect's Dude. duration, marked opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strengthens these effects and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm -hmm. Oh, now, interesting. Elemental burst creates a news flash field that continuously restores HP to party members within its range. Monsieur oh. Verite, he's also going to join in and intermittently Looks attack so good. opponents during the duration of the ability. Looks so good. It As doesn't an last experienced long, reporter, though. Charlotte is an long. expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine characters, she receives a cryo damage bonus. Aww. Now that is not all. There is Interesting. more. During the 4.2 <laughs> special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. When Charlotte Ooh. activates the Zoom Lens, it will trigger her passive talent called First person shutter. Oh my gosh. That's when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is so cool. Yep. That is Why? super rad. And you know, I have a feeling some super cool pictures are going to come out of that. Oh, yeah. I need to listen to that. I need to listen to that again. And how to use it Wait, during the event overview portion. So, I need to listen to that again. Farina and Charlotte will both buy you version 4.2 event wishes. Ooh, yes, Charlotte and Farina together. Oh my we'll god, thank god. Oh, Farina thank god. All my worries have gone During away. This time, Charlotte <sighs> will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Thank god. Huge boost. Thank God I only have to pull for Huge Farina. Boost. A new five star Who's sword, be the next one? Splendor of Tranquil Waters, will be featured in the weapon event. That looks and really good. <laughs> looks really good. What phase two? And in the second half of version 4.2, we'll have Sino and Ayato? And Ayato. Hmm. That's okay, pretty let's good. Let's take a look at what other information we That's can learn good. from Farina's itinerary. Hmm. I want to know what Ray, Ray Chase said. Something. Ooh. I didn't oh, hear. Oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Okay, I will. It says, <laughs> strange rumblings have been heard in the depths of Fontaine's waters. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's here already? Okay. Oh. Look wow. at that. Oh. Well, well, well. It's in a sea of pink and blue stars. Yeah, this is a bit so much. Well, I recognize this well. 
Wait, yeah, what yeah. The? Isn't this the whale that the traveler saw in Child's Vision at the end mm -hmm. of the version 4.1 Archon Quest? Yep, it's the <gasps> yes, same so one. Yes, what the hell? After ravaging its way it's through the sick. primordial sea, <gasps> this otherworldly creature has at long last broken the seal and descended upon Fontaine. Uh oh. Ooh. It's it's a real big big. It uh, uh -oh. it feels like it might even break like through crystal. the screen. Looks like oh, a I crystal. Uh, I get this feeling uh, that this isn't the type of opponent that we can just brute force our way through, you know? Mm -mm. Exactly. In the first phase, it will use its gigantic size to target oh. the traveler with massive AoE attacks from all oh, directions. Oh, devouring. Dodging is oh, wow. definitely your friend. Visit that from, this the, one. Oh, boy. This is that from um, the far side okay, of the okay, sea okay. of stars. So okay. there also seems to be sort of a progress bar next to the boss's HP hmm. bar. Yeah. What's that for? Okay, since we can't outfight it, we'll uh, have to outsmart it instead. The uh, creature just freed itself from captivity and is brimming with anger. So if you can find a way to capitalize on that anger, perhaps you'll also find its weaknesses. Hmm. Oh, okay, wait, is is somebody being eaten? Is uh -oh. it is it even possible to survive something like that? <laughs> I guess here it is. Phase two? <laughs> This is an entirely different space, it looks like. And there's a new enemy here with a oh. massive sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, these summoned creatures also look vaguely familiar to me. I wonder what the deal huh? is with all of this. Perhaps defeating this mysterious enemy within this space will be the key to defeating the whale? Travelers will need to experiment for themselves. Ooh, yeah. All truths will That's be revealed. In version 4.2. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> oh, man. This boss looks really, really tough. Um, What happens it if we, for some reason, does. can't defeat it? Ooh. Okay. It kind of this update actually helps with that problem. Starting from 4.2, an option will appear on the challenge failed screen to lower the difficulty of the boss if travelers are struggling to defeat them during a main quest. Hopefully, this provides a smooth okay. gaming experience for travelers to enjoy. I mean, oh, it's just for the I main quest, love so that. Now it's Now we don't fine. need to worry about getting stuck while trying to advance the main story. <laughs> totally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that change, hey, I'm um, fine that with. That change, I think everyone's fine with. Can we take a short little break while we have a look at the second redemption code, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I, that, that, um... I think most people would be fine with that change because it just makes you... Because you do want to make it so you have to grind for like five hours just so you can continue the story, you know? So it, so I think that's a good change. But damn, that boss looks so good. Like, i just so curious at how Act 5, like, oh my god. There's a new boss as well, it looks like it, like, lo looked like from the trailer. But I don't know. But... <laughs> I just can't wait, man. I just don't know what to say. Like, I, I'm so excited. Oh. I, like, everything looks Hello, so travelers. good. Welcome everything looks back so to the good. version 4.2 special program. Hello. hello. Hello, hello. Yay! So, we've introduced new characters, new plot lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, because there's still more to come. Let's take a look at what Let's other see. information we can learn Let's from see. Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside from investigating crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. <laughs> Who knew she did all this work behind the scenes? Oh, yeah, it's a new area. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. Farina and excuses. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. The terrestrial oh, sea yeah. and fathomless It looks like Farina is towel. in Aeraneus Forest on the east side of Fontaine. What the heck? Mm. And that's right behind the opera house. What a cool place. Mm -hmm. Although... It's floating. It does kind of look like it could be hiding some secrets. <laughs> definitely. Wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh, Things yeah. <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. 
That's example, definitely World Quest. Strange things have been what happening the hell? the water veins around Loch Urania. What As the you hell? Can see, a strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex rising from the middle of the lake. Yeah. It's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. And take a look at this. The foggy forest path. That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. But what about this area? <laughs> the weeping willow of the lake. Ooh, it looks all withered and spooky. And the water doesn't look quite right. <laughs> like it's yeah. cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. It seems like Marina also realized something was off. It looks like she headed underwater to investigate. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. Uh oh. Ew. Speaking uh -oh. of, there are always new things to discover beneath Fontaine's waters. In this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the xenochromatic ball octopus. Travelers oh? can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contamination cores from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. Interesting. In addition, with the help of a special device, travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key to solving Versa? certain puzzles or perhaps even powering certain objects. What the heck? But we'll leave that for you to discover. Ooh. To learn more about the story behind the new Erinius Forest Interesting. region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called The Wild Fairy of Erinius. I'll give you a hint. Melazines are involved. <gasps> oh, God. Melazines? <laughs> Oh my gosh, there goes space. More of their past. Then it would certainly be a world Hopefully. quest that you won't want to skip. <laughs> to the south of Erinius Forest, you'll find the Mort region. There, a singular tower stands tall above an island in the middle of the sea. Perhaps it's also guarding some unspeakable secrets. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, very it looks like that's the very next stop on Farina's itinerary, so let's go check it out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. Yes. I'm so excited that we finally get to check it out. Yes, yeah, same. Yes. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest series called Search in the Algae Sea. Oh. I know. <laughs> and after unlocking four seals along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried secrets will be unveiled to us. Oh, amazing! Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Yes, I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> We all want answers! Um, I also Oops. heard this quest Crazy. has something to do with the primordial sea. Mm. Uh -oh. It seems like there's a very important and very ancient story behind it all. That is very right. New stories are always unfolding in Fontaine, whether above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new life forms in other places where destinies what intersect. The hell? Oh, destinies! Hydro destinies! Tupa? In certain underwater Tupa? cave, new life form is waking up. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while in combat. So don't let your guard down, travelers. Yes. Mm -mm. And some places still seem to tell the stories of events long past, no matter wow, how the... long they've been abandoned. So in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax Whoa. of the Narciss and Croix adventure quest line that was introduced over the last two versions. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. Oh, so we go there for that quest? So we go there for the quest, I guess? I can't wait to I see guess? what it is. Interesting. Same. All right, there's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map. But Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Huh? Oh, wait. Uh -huh. It looks like she's uh -huh. arranged to spend some time with her subjects. Aw. Hmm. Farina is pretty personable. Who's to say? She might even make an appearance at the events taking place in Fontaine. What? Speaking of, let's move Ooh. on to the event portion. Ooh, ooh. All right. The Fontaine Fishing Association has recently posted a commission to investigate the rumors of water imps. In oh, three Fremenay, nice. Ooh, another I don't have investigation. Fremenay. I know. Oh, oh and Fremenay seems to be involved. That little clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. So I'm but guessing this is it doesn't look like voiced a bit. Actually, its name is it like is the Clee one? The name comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. That's not Adults long. Use the story Max 20 to minutes, but it's still the As the story goes, children who play by the water are food for Thelxie to devour. Who's her? Though? Who's she? She reminds yeah. me of Doodle's <laughs> That's what I thought at first. I was well, like, oh, wait. No, must don't be worry. Pretty afraid of I was like, don't worry. 
I know, right? <laughs> it does seem a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin a name like that. There must be um, some other reason. Wait, uh, hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Mm. Absolutely. In this event, we'll be helping Fremenet make some improvements to this little clockwork penguin. There will be a total of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. In return, the little oh. guy will help us out on our journey. Oh, I Pretty love that. Cool. As our journey progresses, we'll oh, collect like colorful the shells, Star corals, and other items which of. can be used to outfit our little friend with weapons and equipment. Which brings us to the second stage of the event, using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Hmm. And, uh, you know, what what happens if we run into certain speed bumps on our adventure? You know, like monsters, puzzles, and all that jazz? <laughs> well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for our little penguin buddy to shine. Aww. Exactly! <laughs> In the third stage of the event, the Clockwork Penguin will help us defeat monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures that I they like may the be guarded. I like the Penguin, Of it's course, cool. the Clockwork Penguin will provide different <laughs> buffs in each battle to help travelers emerge Another victorious. Whoa. Now, as for the story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. Let's see. After helping the Penguin, the next item on the itinerary is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back! Aww. Cool. Wait, huh? Yeah, a friend we met in Sumeru has arrived in Fontaine to promote Lil Fungi's fantastic fiesta. Oh! oh. And do we get fungi head? Fun guys. Please make a fungi head. I think I recognize some familiar faces. <gasps> Fungo head! It's yeah. time to shine! Yay! Let's go! Travelers may notice some differences in this update's fungi event. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Previously, we led the Lil Fungi in battle against Mechanicai. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Ooh. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, adjusting their movement to target different enemies. And don't forget to use marvelous gels to instruct the little fungi to unleash powerful skills. Yeah. So it's kind of like a mix <laughs> of the last two. Travelers with the fungi more than ever. Here's hoping. Gotta be honest, we, uh, I still think the first one is still the best friends. one. The first fungi event is definitely the best one. 100%. <laughs> that was so good. To make the little fungi and some other events that permanent so, so travelers can play so at any time, the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So, they're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this Wait. event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. Wait, this stays right. forever? Okay, no let's way. take a look at what else no way Karina's itinerary has in that's store. A, that's cool. Oh, it's the Graph Adversarial cool. Technology Experiment Log. I'm more than ah. ready to fight some All adversaries. The Let me at them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. A researcher obsessed with graph adversarial technology has made great contributions to the study of counter-criminal image recognition. She believes that her research can help her achieve great success. The bird but at the top. her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples that she needs. Mmm, I'm guessing this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> but Colleen's request is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five different sample types that match the characteristic that's given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also yeah. exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able to find oh. useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Colleen. Ooh. Mm. That's right. It's the zoom lens <gasps> we mentioned during Charlotte's uh. character introduction. Oh, how fun. To use it, just equip the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap pics with zoom lens even while fighting. Whoa. You can even use it in domains. Ooh. Double wow. Uh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And that's cool, but interesting. I wonder how that's going to work, though. In co -op mode How's that going to work? Mm -hmm. and even I wonder if how you miss the chance to annoying it's going to be. There's I'm no need to annoying. worry. Travelers will still be able to obtain the zoom lens after the event ends. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, 
know. It nice. seems like Farina has also learned of the existence of a domain shrouded in Another mist. misty dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers who master the ley line features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily beat their opponents. Now, less experienced travelers like myself don't need we to worry We get Uvla as a trial? Oh my god, that's so good. The buffs brought about by the ley line are also great ways that's to so come good. out on top. That's right. And travelers who are more confident in their combat skills can choose to jump straight to the final challenge. <laughs> also, the ley line overflow event will return at the end of version 4.2. Now might be the perfect time to start building your parties. Hopefully, you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. This seems interesting. There are still more surprises to share. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I let's know. get into them. <laughs> well, before Whoa. we get into them, let's Wait, take what? a quick break to have a look at the final <laughs> redemption code for today. See you in a bit. What okay. more could there be? <laughs> Anime? <laughs> nah, that's copium, man. Anime's copium at, at this point, I feel like. Ad ad anime's copium, man. Uh, I wonder what else, though. I got nothing, but the, the events look fine. I mean, unless I remember like, the fungi one, I'm... Oh, I gotta say, I don't have high expectations for the fungi one. I think the, the first one was, is, has, was definitely the best one. That one was insanely good. It was literally like, po it was like a Pokemon battle. It was cool. The second one was eh. It was eh. I found it fine. Some people hated it. I found it fine. But I'm hoping this one, since it's kind of like a mixture of the two, kind of. I didn't expect them to bring the fun guy back, to be honest. I didn't expect that. But I wonder with this out uh, of the Fremenate event. I'm... I'm hoping that's voiced. Welcome back, travelers. I'm hoping that's voiced. Okay, I just took a look Hello. at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached uh, the end. Aww. Aww. I know. So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. Did you lie to us? Back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the upcoming version. Oh. Let's get into it. Okay. So first up quick is the stuff. quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players who prefer to spend their time exploring may have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. And it's difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally. True. In oh. version 4.2, travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, now That's we don't have to wait to advance the story before That's we nice. can level up a new character's talents and skills. Exactly. That's also, interesting. we're introducing an update to Genius Invocation TCG. Ooh. In version 4.2, three new character cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be an Accelerate Duel feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, buys your deck door. sharing codes will also be available. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration from other travelers. That's interesting. Cool. That's awesome. So what, so what is that the number of card accelerating thing going to do, though? The number of Make it quicker than it already is? Been increased from 10 to 20. Doubled. Doubled. <laughs> card games and aren't addition, really supposed to be quick, though. Both the maximum though. number of starting really? slots and the number of slots like, really unlocked quick, each I mean. player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Double again. Double, Yay. double. Double again. The, deve <laughs> the developers have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heated Battle Mode and the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will also return in version 4.2. Ooh. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. Oh. May those returning to Devat have a happy reunion. Aw, that's Aww. nice. Yeah. Plus, wow, that a is, new story yeah, quest nice. has also that been nice. added so that returning travelers can enjoy new wow. story quests and hangout events. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yo. Quest optimizations thank God. will also be available Actually, in version 4.2. The first one pertains to unlocking story quests. 
Travelers will now get to choose whether to accept a story quest after unlocking it. Whoa, nice. And hopefully travelers won't be overwhelmed by a sudden influx of quests anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The update has also made notifications about Jesus prerequisite quests even clearer, making it easier for players to proceed to certain content. Uh, awesome. Oh, it shows you like that. That okay, is good. Great. That is oh, good. And it seems that's like a that's good update. All we have for the latest version update. I Aww. guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special program to come to a close. That's Yay! Sag, man. I Sag. Know. <laughs> well, there's so much exciting stuff happening. And um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, I am personally very jazzed for the fun guy events. <laughs> yes, how can you not be? They <laughs> keep on adding so <laughs> much cool keys. stuff to this game. For me, I love the they idea of the keys. combat camera. Um, but uh, yeah. uh, for me and Monsieur Novelette, uh, we are here for the Melusines. <laughs> Nice. Uh, well, this has been so much fun with both nice. of you. I'm really grateful we could all be here today together. And um, honestly, I'm just really glad that we're going to get to see how all these mysteries unfold. And <laughs> maybe, I don't know, good... maybe it'll have a nice ending in 4.2. We'll have to see. Hopefully. <laughs> um, but that's it for the version 4.2 we'll special to. program. Thank you so much, everybody. And see you all in game. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. Your audience in the God of Justice are uh, already out of many waters of the most popular slavery of all for today. Lady Frida has been granted. The appointment is on November 8, 2023. Please make sure you come on time, as Lady Frida will be awaiting your revival. Interesting, so November 8. Wait, is that when this, uh, is that when it starts? Is that, is that when it starts? But holy moly, bro, I am so hyped for 4.2. I mean, I was already hyped, like, insanely hyped. 153,000 people watching, Jesus Christ. But, man, I cannot wait. I, bro, Farina is going on to a death sentence. Like, what the hell? What is happening, man? 4.2 is so much off the... Navia looks like she falls into primordial water, which is interesting. Child and new villain fight. The whale becomes a boss, which makes sense. But... They fight, it, it go, goes into the real world, like, pff, man, I could all, Act 5 is going to be so good, I might be, the, could be my favourite act of all time, could be my favourite act, like, clear, because Act 5 of Scenario was insanely good, so I'm hoping that this Act 5 is really good, but yeah, I hope everyone did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe, and man, I'll see everyone in the next one, bye!